Hey guys, welcome to Kidaholic Kits YouTube channel. It's Corinne here today and I've got a 12 by 12 layout for you with June's kit. Oh, I've just been kicked out of my craft room by the cats. The heater's on in there and they're obviously very cold and two of them are laying all over my desk where the heater is and I can't do a voiceover in there while I'm doing a voice, while I'm, oh my goodness, got the heater on, so that's how confused I am, it's freezing today, um, and overcast, and raining, and it's just a really horribly cold day, anyway, on to what I'm doing, because otherwise you're going to get too far ahead, and you won't know, um, just making some coloured texture paste with the Dilutions sprays. For some reason that yellow's clogged. I could probably get up and wash it, but I couldn't be bothered while I was recording this. So it just stays the way it is, doesn't it? Um, well, I worked it out anyway, so that's all that matters. Um, I got some of the blue in that texture paste that I'm going to make pink but oh well you can't notice it in the end is it? it's only a tiny bit the yellow isn't my favourite it goes a bit um, off colour I'd say so I'm just going to mix it in with some texture paste I use Liquitex um, I think that's what it's brand it is and I really like that one. I don't think I will go to a different one again. Um, I really like that texture paste. So I'm just using the stencil from the mixed media kit. And I'm just rubbing some of that bright coloured paste. It almost turned out neon. Uh, except for the yellow which is a bit murky. Which is probably why I don't like it as much because the other colours are quite um, neon coloured. So I'm just rubbing that through and soon it will be all magically done for you so you don't have to sit through it all. Um, but yeah, not a lot of it shows out under the um, photos when I'm finished anyway. These are three photos of my youngest daughter. Um two years ago I think almost she's trying on her daddy's pants and wearing just them around the house because you know, that's what kids do um, and I'm just backing the photos I've used the pink spotty paper um, I used the blue um, like dark blue cross paper and that came out of the project life kit that the other side's cut apart but I actually prefer that blue paper a lot more and I've also used some of that really bright teal um, heart paper that came in the main kit as well so just going to stick them all together and add a doily um, nothing too crazy here. I have used these photos, well I've tried to use these photos, I don't know, I think about six different times. Um, that's why they've already been cut. I already had in my head how I wanted them to sit on a page. Um, they just seem to fit better like that or fit together well like that I should say uh, um, yeah so it's good that it's finally on a layout sorry I'm a bit disjointed today I got almost to the end of this voiceover and iMovie crashed and I lost it all and it was such a good voiceover I'm never going to start again such a pain in the butt iMovie just seems to do that on my phone um, when I first got my phone it was fine and now all of a sudden it just won't go through the whole thing so I'm gonna have to 
cut it off and start the voice over again instead of just running it through as it flows. Such a pain. It doesn't do that on other devices, just on my phone for some reason. So who knows? Maybe it's all too much for the phone. Anyway, I'm starting to embellish now. Just um, pulling out some of those weird and wacky um, ephemera pieces that are included in this um, ephemera pack. Oh, sorry if you can hear the dog next door. He's not impressed about being outside in the rain, the poor little bugger. It's like 12 degrees or something, so it's, it's fairly cold. Poor puppy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, sorry if you can hear him. And back to my layout, because I keep having tangents. Um, just fiddle farting around now. I don't know if that's a that's a bit of a funny word to use, but I seem to say it a lot. Um, so yeah, fiddle farting around and finding bits and pieces to go in here, there and everywhere. Um, I tend to stick most of my layouts to the rule of thirds. So I create uh, three clusters and a visual triangle. But, um, you know... Art is art and you can make it whatever you want really. So if you don't like, you know, the rule of threes or, um, you know, stuff like that, then, you know, you make it however you want. There's no, no rules to say that you have to do it this way. Um, this just comes naturally to me, which is funny because for years I tried and tried and tried to make layouts like this and I'm talking 10 years plus I bought products and in those 10 years I would have scrapbooked maybe 10 pages and that was including my niece's baby album which I was really ridiculously excited about doing um, so you know, I pushed for years to, you know, make the perfect layout. I read in scrapbooking magazines, that, you know, those are the rules, that's what you should do and looked at everyone else's stuff and I thought, wow, there's just no way that I can do this. And then when I moved um, to Brisbane three years ago, I just, I had bugger all stash with me. It was still back in Townsville where I moved from um, and it didn't come up until later so I went to Spotlight and I bought um, a few bits and pieces of uh, it was Christmas time so I got some Christmas stuff and I bought some stamp pads and stuff I tried to buy things that I didn't already have so so I didn't you know have repeats of everything because I had a lot of stuff um, in my stash already, obviously, from collecting for so many years. But, um, yeah, I just bought some Kazercraft stuff because that's what the Spotlight had. And I just sat down and I just made something. I forgot about what it would look like. I forgot about, you know, trying to be perfect. I just laid it out on the page like this didn't stick anything down to start with just laid it down on the page first and I was standing back and I was looking at it thinking I've done it I yeah I just didn't even just never thought I'd be able to for some stupid reason and now I look back and I think oh how stupid were you you lost 10 years um you know where you could have been doing this and you know, getting all your creativity out on something instead of holding it in because I'm a very um, controlled person. I don't like to let go and um, lose control. So this is something that I struggle with um, all the time. But once I saw that I could do it, had a little bit of faith in myself, it just seemed to flow now I'm getting upset with myself because I seem to be doing the same thing over and over again. And I mean, I, I don't always, um, I, but I do like to try new things and um, try different things, you know. 
um, that's why I like looking at other people's layouts for inspiration because I look at something and I don't do a lot of scrap lifting as such but I might take their idea and go oh yeah I could do that or um, I'll see just another idea come from their idea or something and um, off I go I'll be be away with a whole new layout and yeah I find that really interesting so I'm just pacing some placing some of those sequins I've added some of that sequin trim to a paper clip and made like a little flag up the top on that near that cluster and some of the sequins fell off the trim obviously and I've just placed them around in different spots just addling my journaling with a white pen and now I'm adding a scallop doodly border so I hope you guys um, enjoyed this layout I'm almost finished um, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon don't forget to give us a thumbs up bye